Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue tabular data interpretation. First, read the information which is given in the table. Here the information is about number of students passed and failed. Number of students passed and failed in five classes of a school over the years. Here five different classes are there. Class 6, Class 7, Class 8, Class 9 and Class 10. And the years are 2001 to 2006. And this P indicates number of passed students. F indicates number of failed students. That is the information which is given in the table. Here the information once again I am repeating. Total all five classes. Class 6 to class 10. And the number of years. 6 years. 2001 to 2006. In each and every class, number of uh, passed students and number of failed students over all the years, 2001 to 6. That is the given information. Based on that, we need to solve the questions. Once read the first question, what is the average number of failed students from class 7 for the given years? Class 7 failed students. It means all these values. Class 7. Class 7 failed students we are talking about uh, average value. What is meant by average? In general average is equal to sum of observations by sum of observations by number of observations. Number of observations. Right? Now average is equal to here sum of all the students, uh, failed students uh, from class 7. Here it is 14 plus 22 plus 19 plus 25 plus 29 plus 38 whole divided by number of years. Uh, how many years we are talking about? Uh, total 6 years. 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 years divided by 6. Now you can add all the values. Here it is uh, 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 9, 19. 19 plus 9, 19 plus 9, 28. 28 plus 9, 28 plus 9, 37. 37. 3 is the carry, 7 is there. 3 plus 1, 4, 6. 7, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 3, 11 plus 3, 14, 147 divided by 6. Therefore, the required average is, you can cancel with uh, 6 table directly, 6 2 sir, 6 2 sir, how much? 12 and next 27 is there, 27 means uh, 4 times, uh, 6 4 sir, 24, still 3 is the remainder, you can keep the point over here. 30, 6, 5, sir, 30. 6, 5, sir, 30. Therefore, the required average value. The required average value is 24.5. 24.5. Option C is the right answer. Option C. Let's see the next question. Here the question is, what is the ratio between total number of passed students and total number of failed students for the year 2006. Here we are talking about 2006. This is the year we are talking about. In this year, in this year, total passed students, total passed students and total failed students and then we need to calculate the ratio between those two. First write down all past values. Past students are Passed students, sir, these are the passed students in 2006, 77, after that 82 and 55. Write down all the values, 68, 54, 77, 82 and then 55. Add all these values, 7, 7 plus 7, 14, 18 and uh, 26. And next, after that. Here it is uh, 11, 18, 18 plus 10, 28, 28 plus 5, 28 plus 5, 30, 
3 336 now write down failed students number of failed students in 2006 that is starts from class 6 that is 31 and next 38 and next 34 21 14 add all the values 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 8 18 and next 4 7 10 and next 13 138 now the question is what is the ratio between these two 336 is to 138 now you can cancel with uh, two table first uh, here it is uh, one time and next uh, again uh, six times and next eight times after that uh, you can cancel with uh, two table again here it is six times and next uh, one is there 18 18 means nine times and next uh, you can cancel with uh, three table 323s and next uh, 3 5s are 15 3 6 18 56 is to 23 56 is to 23 that is the required answer option b is the required answer 56 is to 23 that is the ratio between number of passed students and number of failed students for the year 2006 option b is the right answer Next question. Which of the following assets has the maximum number of passed students over the years? Maximum number of passed students over the years. So you need to calculate from class 6 to class 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And finally 10. First calculate 6. Here it is past students. As we are talking about past students, uh, write down only past students uh, 50, 60. Here I am taking 2000, uh, class 6 past student over all the years 50, 60, 45, 58, 55, 68. And then class uh, 7. Class 7 is uh, 76. 95, 61, 75, 66, 54. And next class 8. Class 8 is 58, 71. And next uh, 49, 80. And next uh, 59, 77. Class 9 is uh, 65, 75, 48. 60, 70, 82. Class 10, past students, 48, 76, 74, 84, 65 and 55. Okay. Now, guys, uh, it is better to do one thing. Instead of doing the calculation of each and every value, we can do the comparisons. First, I will compare, if you observe carefully, class 6 and class 7. As we want the maximum number of students, maximum number of students passed over the years. Maximum value should be there. So, compare the two classes. Here it is, I am comparing 6 and 7 first. This is greater, plus 26. This is greater, this is greater, this is greater, this is greater. Almost uh, every time class 7 is greater except this case. Uh, this is uh, less by 14. So it is already compensated. So no need of calculating class 6. Class 6 is not at all required. Now you can go with uh, 7 and 8. If you see the comparisons of 7 and 8. 7 is more first case. 7 is more in second case. Second year. Third year also 7 is more. But in fourth year, 80 is more by 5. And next, here also 7 is more. And here, 80 is more by how much? 80 is more by how much? Here it is uh, 77 and this is 54. It means uh, 23. 23 and 5. 28. Total 
28 is more for this one and uh, this is less by this one whether it is compensated by remaining years or not once check it out uh, here it is uh, more this value by 24 and here also this is uh, 18 so already compensated you can also eliminate uh, 8th class 8th class is not the highest 6th class is not the highest now the remaining values are left over these are the remaining values here 7 and 9 comparison first year 7 is more second year 7 is more third year 7 is more fourth year 7 is more fifth year this is more by 4 only this is more by 4 plus 4 and in this year last year this is more by almost uh, 28 28 28 plus 4 32 whether this 32 compensated in previous year not once check it out here in first year it is compensated by 11 and in second year 20 20 and in third year this is uh, almost uh, 13 right so already compensated 32 is already compensated class 9 is uh, less than class 7 finally we will be left over with only one that is class 10 comparison is very easy as compared to calculation of all the values first year class 7 is more second year class 7 third year class 10 is more by 13 and next uh, here also class 10 is more by 9 and next year class 10 is uh, class uh, 10 is less and next year class 10 is more by 1 but if you observe carefully 2005 and 2006 uh, here it is 1 less and this is plus 1 more so these two are compensated now plus 13 plus 9 plus 13 plus 9 is how much plus 22 plus 22 is whether it is compensated in a first two years or not you need to check it out these two values 76 and 48 comparison how much value 26 and uh, 28 plus value already compensated in first year itself therefore class 10 is less as compared to class 7 therefore the required answer is uh, option b class 7 has a maximum number of passed students over all the years together option b next one what is the number of passed students uh, for all the classes together in the year 2003 for all the classes together in the year 2003 total number of passed students 2003 total passed students 2003 total passed students okay write down all the values uh, this is 45 61 49 48 74 here if you observe carefully once check it out the units places whether the units places is different or not once check it out the units place uh, here this value is 45 61 49 48 74 9 plus 1 10 15 19 27 27 units place is 7 so maximum answer is uh, option a only why because uh, the number is ending with 7 in only one case once add these values also whether you will get uh, 27 or not here it is uh, 10 20 27 so 277 therefore total number of passed students uh, in the year 2003 which is uh, 277 option a no need of calculating the entire value the simplest shortcut method is uh, go with the uh, units place digit go with the uh, units place if the units digit is same for any of the options then only you can go with uh, the entire calculation or otherwise directly you can uh, see the units digit uh, so that it will be time uh, saving tip for any competitive examinations okay last question in this session what is the total percentage of uh, passed students of class 6 
from all the years together here passed students of class 6 from all the years together see here total percentage of passed students total percentage of passed students in class 6 class 6 passed students values 50 60 45 58 59 and 68 divided by first calculate all the values 10 18 26 and next add these values here it is 11 15 20 25 25 plus 6 31 31 2 31 2 33 336 total passed students are 336 now you want passed percentage passed percentage in the sense first you must know about this one pass percentage is equal to passed candidates passed candidates divided by total candidates total candidates into 100 percentage okay total passed candidates over all the years together that is 336 and you should also calculate uh, failed candidates passed candidates are 336 whereas failed candidates failed candidates how much once calculate that value also in two th- for class 6 42 19 13 21 18 31 add all the values once here 9 plus 1 10 12 20 23 24 next 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 6 8 9 9 5 9 plus 5 14 total failed students are 144 total pass students are 336 here in the denominator you need to calculate total number of students total number of students means pass plus fail total is equal to pass plus fail that value is 336 plus 144 add these two 10 and this is 8 and this is 4 480 total number of students are 480 now you need to calculate the percentage into 100 here 0 0 gets cancelled now you can cancel with a four table 4 12 times and next 4 8 times 4 4 times and then again 12 7 sir 84 12 7 sir 84 7 into 10 70 70 percentage pass percentage of uh, class 6 over all the years which is equal to 70 percentage option c is the right answer for this question in this way you can calculate pass percentage of any class uh, this is all about uh, this session I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.